could have done with a few more hours sleep. Harry sent me the file. I should be able to read it now. Our hikers from Baltimore. Ah, finally, the new entry. That's not a black bear. Harry can wait. I might need this. Had a nice sleep, buddy? We've got a problem. Old One-Eye is back. Remember him? Ah, of course not. You were still a puppy. We're going back to where the gunshots came from. I'll tell you all about it on the way. We don't usually get grizzlies in Colorado. The last confirmed sighting was in 1953. Now, since then, various hunters have claimed to see one, but these sightings were never confirmed. Grizzlies are as rare here as tigers are in an Italian forest. An enormous one-eyed grizzly bear, a male that had come all the way from Yellowstone. He must have decided that the weather was better in Colorado and that the salmon and hikers were tastier here. Yep. He killed three people in one night. It was a bloodbath. And then he left and we never saw him again. We closed the park for three months. We were crazy nervous when we reopened the park to tourists, believe me. But since then, knock on wood, nothing to report. Harry thinks he didn't wake up after hibernation. Others think he moved on to Wyoming. Maybe it's him the camera captured or another grizzly. Either way, we have a big problem. Blood. That's probably the Elks. Okay, I'll follow you. Go! Well done, boy. The blood merges with tracks here. The toes are far apart, claws are small. These are black bear tracks. Find something!
Stay there. Find These it. sons of... They killed a black bear. The body is cold. It died last night. And judging by the wound, it's the same caliber. Poachers usually decapitate the animals to take an idiotic trophy. They didn't touch anything here. I surprised them last night, and they abandoned their spoils. I'm going to call Harry. We need a bear necropsy. There! Vultures! They found something. Another bear. It's injured. Let's catch it. I'll try to tranquilize it. There's a bullet wound at the top of the thigh. It could get infected. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. I turned the radio off while I was trailing an injured black bear. How's it doing? Let Alice know we'll need her, but I think it will survive. But there's nothing we can do for the other bear. The other? I... well... Okay, I'll let her know. One more thing. It's not just poachers we have to worry about. The one-eyed grizzly is back. I thought it was dead. Well, let's not panic. Not yet, anyway. I'm going to check the other cameras, and we'll know more back at the cabin. Okay. Take care, and please keep your radio on. Let's find those cameras. Maybe they captured something interesting for us. Number one done.
Camera two done. Just one more. Camera three done. Time to go back. First entry is empty, on to the next. A massive head, furry hump on its shoulders, and a closed eye. One eye is definitely back. As if we didn't have enough on our plate already. There's one more entry. Let's watch it. These jerks are well equipped. I wonder if they were tracking the grizzly. The older and rarer the animal, the higher the price they can fetch for it. Harry? Come in. Harry! And he had the gall to tell me to keep my radio on. Forget him. I'm going to lie down for a bit before going out. I slept badly last night. I overslept. Time to get up. I've got a message. Dexter, the bears arrived here at the hospital. The injured bear will pull through. But we need to keep an eye on it for a few days. As for the dead bear, I finished the necropsy. They cut off a paw, and there was an incision in the abdomen. They had enough time to remove the gallbladder. I've done some research, and apparently there is a huge market for bear bile and paws. They're used in alternative medicine. So-called miracle cures. I need to go. I'll call you back. I miss you. So, the poachers are going after black bears. I'm going to make sure they don't come back. They're not the only ones with a high caliber. Time to get up, boy. We're going to visit some black bears. Back to Balacito Pass. Remember that place? It's where we made a nice dewormer snack for the bears. Now ain't that a good dog? Stay where you are. Fine, I'm counting on you. Fresh droppings. Bears came through here this morning. Some scratches on the trees. Stay where you are. Fine. Shoe prints all mixed together. And a pool of blood. The poachers killed an animal and carried it off. Let's follow the trail. Go!
Follow that trail. Quiet now. They might still be there. The embers are still warm. Best before 2022. This stuff was bought recently. They ate local wildlife and stayed a few days. I should look inside. Need a flashlight. Cut off the paws. Ran out of time, maybe? And there's the same incision in the stomach Alice was talking about. I bet they removed the gallbladder. Empty boxes of high caliber ammo. Even gunpowder remains. Enough food and water to last a few days. They were planning to stay longer. They've marked the areas where bears are living. They... that way of drawing arrows. There's only one person who draws them like that. Harry. No. Can't be. They... they must have stolen this map from him. That's the only explanation. Dexter? I found the poacher's hideout. Harry, you there? I'm here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You found the poacher's hideout. Where is it? Near Raspberry Trail. They've made the old cabin into a dissection lab. That old cabin you wanted to turn into a shelter? Remember that place? I remember. And I'm looking at a map. I recognize your arrows. You never knew how to draw arrows, and they're everywhere, pointing out the locations of black bears. What the hell have you been up to, Harry? I, I messed up, Dexter. You've more than messed up. Who did you make this map for? Some... I... I'd had too many. I was angry. They approached me. They saw I was a ranger, asked me for info. I thought they were just tourists. Don't lie to me, Harry. Tourists? Really? Did you take money from them? I... might have. I... If you were here right now, I'd knock your teeth out. This is all your fault. I asked you to talk to Alice, not steal her. Alice doesn't belong to you, and I never wanted to steal her. Yes, I fell in love with her, and I'm sorry about that. But what you just did with these poachers, that's unforgivable. What do you remember about these poachers? They said they were dealers in luxury goods. We've got lots of black bears, Dexter. They just wanted one or two. Harry, you need to fix this. I know, I know. I chased the poachers off once. They might be back tonight. If we warn the sheriff, they won't show up, and we'll never catch them. But they've left expensive equipment here. Tools, bear paws, so there's a chance they'll return. Do you have any way to contact them? No. I have no idea who they are or where they're hiding. Okay. I'm switching off my radio for a few minutes. In the meantime, think about how you can make up for the mess you've made. Okay. Let's think about this. I've got lots of dewormer in my pack. And tranquilizer vials. If I give a strong dose to a human, it'll give him a bad case of stomach cramps. Let's do that. Now, let's add tranquilizer to the water. That should put him to sleep.
They left a rifle. High caliber, poorly maintained. There's dirt in the barrel. It must have fallen in the mud, and the poacher didn't clean it. The next shot might cause sparks. Damn! It's the grizzly! The smell of blood attracted him. Darius, go! Back to the cabin! Get out of here! Darius! Clear off, you big ugly bastard! Get out of here! Darius! 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 This way. The bear's gone. It's no use. Now I need to find my dog. And hopefully still in one piece. There he is! Dog paw prints. Let's follow him. Let me see the wound. Doesn't seem too deep. Come on, let's get back before the bear returns. Go lie down on your bed. I'll find something to disinfect it with. Dexter, I remember giving the poachers the coordinates of the old track the firefighters use. They needed to get a vehicle into the park. Okay. The old fire service road. I'll go take a look. Wait, I thought of something else. I'm gonna change radio frequency and use the unencrypted channel. I'll broadcast a false message that the poachers have been arrested outside the park and that they were just trophy hunters. What use is that? There's a small chance the poachers can listen in on us. They'll think we arrested the wrong people and that they can come back and kill bears tonight because we won't be looking out for them. Okay, that might work. I'll take care of it. Be careful out there. A short break and then we set off again. <laughs>